Hello ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and whatever else is watching, my name is Nick and you we are playing once more Danganronpa 2 Goodbye Despair. You are watching the continuation as we have finished the prologue and are now in chapter 1. All hell has broken loose as the terror teddy Monokuma has returned and brought fear and despair to our, well, island inhabitants. So let's see who will continue on after this chapter, who will be his first victim and who will be left remaining afterwards. I have to say I thank you all for watching this video, if you have any thoughts leave them in the comments below and I hope you enjoy this continuation. Thank you and let's go shall we? What? Why bring her up? Don't please tell me he's a skater boy or something. Really? Why? What? What made what made them use her name? Huh? And Did he really just say that? He's just saying random shit to fuck with us. You probably dumped it somewhere on the island, didn't you? This school trip has a no littering rule. If he had violated it, the island sirens would be ringing non-stop. Island sirens? Just for littering? Also, I was on guard duty, and I never once saw Teru Teru leave the old building. Which means, he obviously hid it somewhere in the old building. It's probably the kitchen again, right? Teru Teru, just man up and be straight with us. Oh. Now he's becoming a monkey! Finally, we are nearing the end. The cornered opponent will be surrounded by soul shields and simply will not listen to what you have to say, soul shields. It will probably pain you to condemn your classmate, but this is a class trial after all. You must argue against your opponent and destroy their soul shield. A high speed dispute battle where you beat down a panicked opponent's excuses and nonsense. That's the bullet time but sorry, panic talk action. PTA. We'll shorten it to PTA. <laughs> During PTA you must destroy all of your opponent's shoal shields so you can deliver your final strike. In order to do that you must destroy your opponent's remarks while following the tempo of the song. Oh god no. Time your button presses with the tempo marker as it moves across the screen. Match the tempo marker by pressing the X button. And you will be able to lock on to the opponent's remark. If you keep pressing it you will be able to lock on to multiple remarks at the same time. Afterward if you release the X button in time with the tempo marker it will intercept the locked on remark and destroy it. By destroying remarks you will be able to damage the soul shields protecting the opponent and destroy them. However if you cannot destroy their remark within the time limit you will end up getting hurt. During PTA you can press the options button to review the controls. Oh god. But for this PTA just focus on pressing the X button. Please wait for another time for the other features. Do this consecutively and you'll start a combo. Keep this going and you'll initiate a tempo up. On the flip side if you keep missing you'll find yourself in a tempo down situation. When the song changes the tempo changes. This will alter the timing for each button. Please be careful. Last but not least, let me tell you about the final blow. 
Destroy all of your opponent's soul shields, they will start to give their final argument. If that happens, four swords will be displayed on top, bottom, left, right sides of the screen. Each of these buttons words correspond to the circle, triangle, square or X button. If you press the buttons in the right order, you will be able to compose the words of your final strike. Oh boy. Please make your argument while searching for the words that will trump your opponent's final argument. This is gonna be a pain! Also, if you don't deliver your final strike within the time limit, the opponent's soul shields will recover. Well then, good luck and have fun! What the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? He said, um... Oh, what the hell are you even saying, you stupid country hick? I guess... We have no choice but to somehow find out for ourselves. If the iron skewer is the weapon, then hiding it in the kitchen would be the easiest way to slip... ...it by. But Piakia and I checked the kitchen pretty thoroughly before the party started. Which means, was the weapon was already hidden somewhere we couldn't find it. It would have been in an unexpected place. We would have, where would that be? Where did he hide a long weapon like an iron in that big meat? Think carefully. It's in the big meat. I'm not hiding anything. I'm hiding anything. I'm hiding anything. I must reveal to Terto the conclusive evidence that he proves he's the killer. Eh, probably in the meat. Panic dog. Shut up! I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. That's impossible. Paris Hilton. Nonsense. Ah! Unforgivable. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Ah! Shut up! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Paris Hilton! Nonsense! Ah! Unforgivable! I don't know, I don't know, I don't know! That's impossible! Ah! Where would the weapon be? Oops. Wrong sentence. It's on the meat bone. So, on the meat bone. Unforgivable. I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. That's impossible. Where would the weapon be? Bone on the meat. Wait, what? Where would the weapon be? The bone on meat. Where would the weapon be? Meat on the bone. This is the end! Okay, just try out combinations. Could the iron skewer have been hidden inside the piece of meat on the bone? 
What are you saying? There's no way I'd hide anything. In a place like that? That's big really enough. impossible. I mean, that's inside the food. Impossible. That's what Biaki and I thought. That's why we overlooked. It's really big. It seems there are no dangerous items like that skewer in the curator earlier inside that pile of food. It, that appears to be the case. Phew. I wouldn't have known what to do if he said fish bones and meat bones were also dangerous items. But in fact, the only place you could hide the weapon was inside the food that couldn't be inspected. Out of all the dishes you prepared, the only one that could hide a weapon as long as an iron skewer is? The meat on the bone. What now? I'm using my right to remain silent. There's no way that exists here. We need to confirm this now! So if we eat that tasty looking piece of meat and find the iron skewer inside, bullseye! Alright. <laughs> Monokuma or Monami, one of you hurry and bring over that piece of meat. One minute. Just give me one minute. I'll eat the whole thing! Wait, now, hold on a second. Time out, time out! What are you doing? Hurry up and bring it over! Uh... About that. <laughs> huh? Where did Monokuma go? I'm <laughs> right here! Did he go and get the meat? <laughs> I'm already eating it! Oh, a bear that eats meat! Uh, wait, now that I think about it, that's pretty normal. <laughs> oh, what is this? So yummy! Damn it! That's my meat! I've never eaten anything like it in my entire life! The taste brings me back to my days in the wild! Okay. This, this is bad! Seriously, this is really bad! My, my! There's something inside the meat! Look what came out! <laughs> Isn't that... Is that an iron skewer? Check it out! The handle looks like it's made of bone. Pretty clever. The sword of destruction, encased in bone and sheathed in meat. It brought catastrophe unto Byakuya. As expected of Terry <coughs> Teru. Such a fantastic weapon from the ultimate chef. You're wrong. I'm not the killer. I'm not the kind of person who would kill someone. I got it. You all set me up. You guys set me up so you could blame this on me! Jeez, huh? what a disappointment. Such an unseemly defense for an ultimate like you. Can you really call that hope? Hey, Nagito? I'm sorry, but can you just be quiet? <laughs> he said, you're all nothing but a bunch of poor loud mouth fast food eating hips. Okay, I'm so I'm sorry, I know I'm laughing, but the hilarity just at this moment of all <laughs> of all that's going on here. <laughs> this is supposed to be some kind of drama. And we're talking about a murder here. Someone got killed and we're now actually convicting someone to be executed it's not a nice thing and yet the hilarity that they bring here Monokuma eating that stuff Akane who is so eager to eat it even Ibuki even being a <laughs> it's just and then that accent of a there was just <laughs> And also those poses, they put in a lot of more humor in this game than they did in the in the previous one. Or at least, <laughs> it's a lot more laughable. 
That just might you might your bone a little bit more. <laughs> you what the you heck? don't need to translate anymore. Somehow I can tell what he's trying to say. Never, never, never tell a about cooking on your quick! I'll just deal with Nagito later. More importantly, we shoot first. I guess we need to settle this. Once and for all. To do that, we need to go over the entire incident from beginning to end and make everything clear. <coughs> oh god. Ah, this is a fun one. Then I can prove Teotero's crime. That's right, if we don't do that, we can't end this no matter how much time passes. So, we need to do it. So it's finally come to this. My throb is chesting. What? My chest is throbbing. Every case has one last feature to bring the class trial to an end. This is the closing argument. In this phase you'll give a complete summary of the case. You'll have to reproduce the order of events in the case in, f in the form of a comic book. Ooh, this is fun. This reproduction is merely Hajime's imagination, so there will be gaps here and there. Really? Gaps are areas where a number of pieces are missing. Oh. It's up to you to complete the comic, using the truth panels provided. Around 3 to 5 truth panels make up one set. Inside one set, that one set, there will be correct panels placed among incorrect panels. If you use up all of the correct panels contained in one set, it will switch to a new set. After that, if you fill in all the holes, you will clear the challenge. Eh? I'm pretty sure some of you already noticed, but... It will be difficult to complete with so many gaps, but once you fill some in, it will become much simpler. For those of you who played the previous game, you might hesitate at first, but it's basically the same concept. Now then, when playing and solving the closing argument, there's a certain trick. If you move the radical onto the gaps on each page, it will display hints at the top of the screen. This type of hint will ask what kind of scene is drawn in that gap. Also, if you move the radical onto a truth panel, it will display the, a hint as well. This hint explains the scene contained in that panel. Put together these two hints and think carefully. Of course, don't forget that there will be a time limit. Oh, oh yeah. Well then, good luck and have fun! <laughs> Okay, everyone at the party is... Switch it on, Yoko is drinking juice, borrowing the tablecloth, switch it on, Nikamaru is holding it. Storage room before the blackout. Same scene as the office room and dining hall. At the office room when the blackout occurred. Switch on. The moment it got dark, Byakuya... Who did Byakuya see? The killer obtained the light. Weapon hidden in... Is it meat? What did the killer do after exiting into the dark hole? What did the killer obtain at the storage room? That's one.
What was found under the table? Well, there was a knife. I heard it. Well, Ibuki. Everyone at the party is... Huh, okay. I do have to say that the storage room before the blackout. room when the blackout occurred. Office and dining hall. At the office when the blackout occurred. There's one more. And then. In. Okay. Talk to Big Mean on the Bone. And Ibuki heard something. Conditioning turned on. Guess this information doesn't fit here. I should think. don't have Oh frick, time's up! I can't go on any longer, I don't have any other options Wow, this one is trickier Everyone doubts me. <laughs> it appears the class trial has come to an end. Wait, what? Now then, it's time to vote. Well, I can totally imagine who the blackened will be. -hoo -hoo -hoo. 
That's the weirdest part, so I failed. Um, by a majority vote, the one who has been chosen as the black end is... Hajime. Really? Too bad. True black end has graduated splendidly, congratulations. And now? The others will be all... will all be punished. That means you too, Hajime. This is my... our end? Wait, what? Yeah! Okay, that was weird. Stuck one. Okay. Um, no. This one belonged there. That one I remember. Uh, no. no. Nagito. Light. Up and in the and the. Fire doors. Did get obtained in the storage room. Oh yeah, that was this one. And the knife or something. That's supposed to be going over there. Ibuki heard something. I remember that one. Chucky was guarding. Um, no. I'm heading in. No. Yeah, you see, they're trying to duck under the table. Jackie was guarding. Yep, those I remember. So, I guess that one belongs over there. Yakya putting on the night vision goggles. And now, wait, where is it? Oh, me failing, that's what was actually triggering. This one belongs over there. Last talk. This one over there. Big knee bone. No. Huh. Did it increase the time then again? Because I know this one. Here's there, everything but... that happened in this case. Oh, Let's weird. try going over the whole incident, beginning with right after the party started. Okay. Yakia had us gather in the dining hall of the old building near the hotel. He was extra cautious about a murder occurring that night because of a threatening letter he received. Therefore, he decided to throw a party so he could monitor us. Though one person didn't come, the rest of us assembled at the dining hall, and the party was underway. But at that time, the trap set by a certain someone was already in motion. They plugged three irons into the outlets in the storage room, which nearly capped the power usage. Additionally, they prepared something else that would activate at 11.30 p.m.
the air conditioners in the office and dining hall. They had already set the timers for this. Thanks to the irons maxing out the power usage, the breaker was tripped when the air conditioners kicked on. Since the windows in the old building were covered, the blackout plunged the dining hall into total darkness. Really? No when light from happened, underneath? Biakia took out a specific item that he brought in his case. That item was the night vision goggles. Biakia was so concerned about a murder occurring that he brought a variety of security equipment with him. When he put on his night vision goggles, Biakia witnessed a certain someone making a suspicious move. He saw Nagito guiding himself with the desk lamp's power cord so he could get under the table. That's right, everything up to that point was all part of Nagito's plan. The murder warning to Byakuya, the source of the blackout, it was all Nagito. While the blackout was happening, someone else, the real killer, began making their move in the kitchen. The killer probably already knew about Nagito's plan, so they knew a blackout was coming. That's why the killer prepared all the items they would need to commit their crime in the dark beforehand. They needed a light source, which was provided by the portable stove in the kitchen. They needed a weapon, too. This had also been hidden in the kitchen beforehand. long iron skewer used in the churrasco dish. The killer hid that inside that meat with the bone in it. With the weapon and portable stove in hand, the killer stepped out into the hallway. First, they closed the fire door in the hallway so their light source wouldn't peek toward the dining hall. Then, Guided by the light, the killer headed toward the storage room and grabbed a specific item. That's right, a tablecloth to block the blood splatter. With this, the killer finished their preparations and snuck under the floorboards through the secret passage. They probably turned off the portable cooking stove at that point, or left it near the entrance of the door. The floor in the dining hall is full of gaps, so there's no way they could have safely held a light source. But thanks to the glowing mark they painted earlier, the killer was able to get beneath the table. Under the table, Byakuya found the knife that had been hidden there. If only he had retreated, he probably wouldn't have gotten killed, but... He had to retrieve that knife, and at that moment... The killer lurking beneath the floorboard stabbed straight up with the iron skewer. The killer had been waiting in the dark for the moment when the glowing paint began to move. After they murdered Byakuya, the killer purposefully shouted from beneath the floorboards to make it seem like they were still in the dining hall. Afterward, they came out from underneath the floorboards and rushed back to the kitchen. And then, after hiding the murder weapon in the kitchen, they rejoined the group as if nothing had happened. There's only one person who would have been able to commit this crime. Especially if that person is someone who'd think of an unexpected way to hide a weapon inside food.
Isn't that right, Teru Teru Hanamura? That's right. <laughs> he looks he look really shocked. That's what happened. How about it? Did I get anything wrong? No, I don't this think so. It's a mistake. A mistake, I tell you. I would never, I would never kill anyone. Would never. <laughs> <laughs> it seems this is the end. <laughs> okay, just one thing. No, later. Later about that. A little bit later. Whoa. Ugh. Okay. That last one was really. <laughs> Oops. Yeah, wait. Uh, 100 points. Difficulty bonus, mean. Action. Uh, perhaps I have to set my <laughs> average again. Uh, wow. This is different. Some things I really like. This one I didn't. It was the. Uh, wasn't that the one? Yeah, that was it. Uh, this one was also weird. You had a really short time, amount of time or something. It was. Eh. <coughs> time left, 25 points. Missteps, 40 points. Hmm. Yet. Yeah, I went something rather wrong. Did I? What? What is which face actually? That's just not really clear about it. Oh well. <laughs> it looks like your argument has come to a close. Whoops! I lost control of my wild side for a second. Was that a side effect of the meat I just ate? Well, putting that aside, let's move along to the nerve wracking voting time! Now then, please pull the lever in front of you and cast your vote! Oh, just a reminder, make triple sure you vote for someone! If you don't vote, I'm gonna eat you up just like that meat from earlier! <laughs> Why did this happen? Who will be chosen as the blackened? Will you make the right choice or the dreadfully wrong? <laughs> Such heart-pounding excitement! Ah, oh, Monomi. Well, it's Teo Teo. That's a weird thing I find. At the end, you are uh, found guilty? Well, everyone was already in agreement that it was Teo Teo. You just had to open up the panels. It's just... 